Hey guys, I wanted to do a video today to talk about some of our art choices for the next school year. Now, when I made our um, family subjects curriculum picks, I talked about art and I mentioned we would be doing Atelier Homeschool Art. That is still the plan. So this um, particular uh, level five is a three DVD set. I have a whole video I made on the uh, streaming format, which I will link um, either up above or down below, or if I'm having a good day, maybe both. Um, and that it, that would be my preferred. I really I really love that. Um, but when I was making my purchases for this past year, this is what was in my budget, the older version, which I got off of eBay. So we were also doing some art through Torchlight this past year. And so we only got about halfway through the level five of Atelier. So we are going to continue this next year, but probably only like once a month we'll do this as a group. And I really wanted my kids to have some art that they were working on individually, weekly, that they would have kind of some say in, maybe an area they really wanted to see some growth in or an interest they had. So I have purchased a couple of things and then I also went to my shelf and pulled off a lot of resources we already have that I thought might be good um, for them to work through and they can kind of have some choice. So I thought I would share those resources with you today in case you're kind of on the hunt for some things. So I have, will have a fourth grader and a seventh grader um, next year. So the first thing, this was something new that I bought. When I say new, I bought it a few months ago. Um, with the intent of using it potentially next year for my will-be seventh grader. And this is from Thistle and Biscuits. It's called Comic Arts. There's volume one and volume two. I bought both because it was cheaper to get the bundle. Um, and right now, this is one of the things my daughter said she really thinks she would like to work on next year. And I want her to really have have some independence. Not, not so much independence, but some kind of more um, individual work where it's not her brother's not doing the same thing something that's just for her and so I let her kind of look through these and this looked really good to her um, I don't remember if it was this one or the next one but really kind of got into perspective and things like that and she said yeah that she would really like to do that that lap would look really good looked really good to her um, so she'll start with volume one if that's what she then wants to continue um, in the year is volume two then she can do that but I also have some other things I'm going to show you that would also be options for her um, I was really wanting her to focus on drawing this year now she has done we have these two books the drawing lesson and the comic book lesson she has done both of these before my Son has not, so these will be an option for him in the future. I don't think next year. I think we'll hold off a little bit, but I would actually like my daughter to do the drawing lesson again. Um, she did it fairly independently last time and without a lot of feedback, and I think, um, I just think it would be good for her to go through and do it maybe one-on-one -on -one with me, maybe outside of school we would do this, just as something she and I do together. But I really like this book. I just think that she should do it again. Um, so this really has lessons kind of built into the storyline and you're talking about uh, proportion and detail and so in this one they're drawing a watch and then you're getting into shading and so this is something I would definitely like to do with her I don't want her to do this one independently again I want to do it with her so we'll see where this fits in and then eventually I think that this would be a good one for her to do again possibly but I think she will do these first um, I had also picked up this book uh, I borrowed it from the library I believe my friend Michelle G recommended this or she had it on her list to look at and so I added it to my list I borrowed it from the library and I liked the look of it so I got a copy um, for our home library um, because I really wanted her to maybe focus a little more on drawing this year and kind of fine-tuning some of those skills and this one looked good they also make a sequel to this um, I think it's just art for kids 
drawing two maybe. It's got a yellow cover. Um, I did not buy that one because I want to see how this one goes um, if we use this. So this is an option for her as well for drawing. And then I also borrowed this from the library. I have not purchased it because I think this might be a year or two down the road for her. This is written more for adults, but I was drawn to this because of the way it's organized and because uh, Skillshare has this um, artist does classes that kind of follow this book. And I thought this might be something I look at maybe more for high school, but I thought I would share it with you. Um, I like that you could get, you know, video classes to kind of support the book learning. So chapter one is basic skills, how to draw lightly. And then there's all these projects throughout. There's another project, another project, another project. So I think this is definitely for um, once someone has, I don't know, maybe some more basics down or is a little more comfortable. Um, I think this one could be good. But like I said, I think that's a year or two off for her at least. Um, so those are kind of the drawing things. And like I said, I think she's gonna start with those Thistles and Biscuits comic arts. This is another one that I think my son is leaning towards doing. This is um, a unit from Harbor and Sprout. I'll have a link down in the description if you wanna try out Harbor and Sprout for I think 10% off. Um, but this is their primary unit, Visual Arts and it has 20 modules in it. And I think that this would be good for him. This has an introduction to visual arts, history of visual arts, color theory, elements of art and principles of design, art and nature, visual arts and world culture, patterns and mathematics and art, the art of words, sculpture, textile art, painting. There's like so much in here. Photography, drawing, indigenous art, mixed media art, street art, printmaking, mosaics, chalk and pastel art, and music and visual arts. And this is set up pretty much like all of their other um, units where, let's see here. So you have module one, this is introduction to visual arts. You have a section that you read, and then you have notebooking prompts, and you have activity ideas. And then you go into the next module. So I think this could be really cool for him. He thought this looked interesting. So this might be what he chooses to start the year with. He has not made his final decision yet. Um, but this has a lot of great, great stuff in it. He thought this section on math and art looked really cool. And again, you've got notebooking prompts, activity ideas. So he could do all of this in, you know, a sketchbook, unless it was a sculpture. So this is definitely a contender for him. And even my daughter, if she wanted to, could do this one as well. We'll see. Um, I have a few things uh, in our library that I would like to pull out again this year. This one I just recently got, I think at Half Price Books. But I think my daughter especially likes uh, reading these stories. We had Kid Presidents, I think, and Kid... Oh, there's another. There's a few in this series. I can't remember the other ones we've had, but she in particular likes these. But I think both of my kids would enjoy. So I need to find a way to work that in. And then these History of Western Art and Comics. My daughter, I believe, read these both, but I think it might be time to pull them out again. We'll see kind of what their interest is, um, but those are some things I pulled off our shelf. And then the last couple of things that are in contention for them to do individually next year, this is a book, I really love this book, but we have not done everything in it, um, that one of my kids could potentially decide to do this and just work through this. Um, it's How to Paint with Acrylics, an art book for kids eight to 12. And there are step-by-step -step projects in here. So this one, my daughter showed an interest in possibly doing this as well. So maybe she'll start with the comic arts and then maybe she'll do a little painting. Sometimes my kids are hesitant on the painting because it's messy and they don't like the cleanup of it. But I think if we can get past this, this would have some really good projects in it for them. 
kind of want to do this one. And then lastly, my sister got me um, for my birthday this Bob Ross for Kids Happy Lessons in a Box. And so I had that and then I bought this book to go along with it, Painting with Bob Ross for Kids. And my kids saw me, I did a painting um, the other night and they thought it was amazing. And so my daughter's like, if you can paint like that with this book, then I want to do this book. So they could also do this. We have all of the, the brushes and, and stuff to do this one as well. So that's an option for them um, as well. But so that's kind of our plan for art next year is that we don't have a set plan. We will do this together um, once a month probably. And I like this enough that when we finish level five, we will go ahead and, and get level six, whether we do streaming or whether I buy the DVDs again. Um, and then, like I said, I think my son will probably work through the Harbor and Sprout unit. This I will probably save until maybe eighth or ninth grade for my daughter. Um, and I think she will probably work through the comics, comic arts to start, and then we'll see where she wants to go after that. But I really want them to, to really be able to pick something and spend individual time on it for art this year. So that is our plan. I wanted to share some resources with you. If you have any questions, let me know down below.